So to finish off, we want to have a look at all the data that we've been logging. If we return to the values page and the view mode, we will see first of all in the centre at the top an option for historical logging table. This gives us an overview of the tags that have had historical logging enabled and displays the values over a time period. So at the top here, we specify a time period from and to, update our screen, and we'll get all the data values with the log points indicated by their timestamp for those parameters, those tags that we've set up. And we can also store this to a text file and download it to our local PC from here. So that gives us a good overview of all the data for historical logging for all tags together. Of course, we can also get the data for each tag individually, and that's from the file transfer option on the left hand menu. So files transfer gives us access to all the files within the Flexi system, including the separate historical log files for each of the tags that we've configured. If we return to our, our values list now and select a parameter, you'll see at the top we have now more options. So as well as our historical logging table, we can also see the data as a graph. So again, we're offered a time range to select. And if we view the value, we'll then see the data as a graph. And it's possible to select multiple tabs, multiple tags to display the data in this way. So again, selecting our time scale, we can see the value for multiple tags and their data stored in that way. So that's our historical logging. For our live data, um, real time data, we want to select a parameter that has real time select option selected. And then from the centre at the top, we can just look at our real time graph. And this then gives us a snapshot of 60 seconds worth of data at one second intervals as we stored it on our system. So it gives us a, a quick overview of what's been happening recently. The third type of, uh, of data that we were talking about was our key performance indicators, as indicated in this column here. Now, we can display those internally to the Flexi very easily by looking at our summary page. So here are our KPIs and you'll see these are live values. We'll see the, the data values changing as I affect the, the inputs on my IO card there. So KPIs are visible here. But as I mentioned, we can also see those values external to the Flexi both via the m to web service and via eCatcher Mobile. The way to do that is we have to enable the function within our Flexi system. So if we go to our main menu and data management, you'll see here within the, here the option for live data and KPIs. And this means that these KPIs are pushed up to the, m, the talk to m portal available for the m to web So here, talk to m API, live data and KPIs, we just update that. It will now be pushing our data out to our m to web And I happen to have my m to web open on another page here. So we can see our values displayed live. As you can see, the values are changing. And if I change my values and trigger an alarm, you'll see the way that alarms are reported as well. So with a refresh, we've now hit a, a warning level on our boiler temperature. And if I keep winding, we will uh, hit the, the alarm level and you'll see the different colours there. And similarly, if we looked at the map view of this, then again, we would show our device in, a, in its error state here on the map. So that's a roundup of data logging, both historical and real-time data, and the KPIs within our Flexi.